Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithben.com and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about setting up and using the WP Travel Engine plugin. Now, if you're new to it, WP Travel Engine is a powerful WordPress plugin designed specifically for building travel booking websites. It allows you to create, manage, and showcase travel packages, handle customer bookings, and streamline the entire booking process right from your WordPress website. So whether you're aiming to launch a professional travel booking website or just wanna explore what this plugin has to offer, this video has you covered. And by the end, you'll be ready to set up your own site, customize it, and start managing bookings with ease. And real quick, before we get started, if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Helps me bring you more resources and it keeps you up to date with all of the AI, web, and tech trends happening throughout the year. But Either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so getting started with the WP Travel Engine WordPress plugin is super easy and free. Just head over to blogwithbin.com forward slash WP Travel and you can access that link in the video description below and that will take you to the WP Travel Engine website where you can download the plugin for free. So go ahead and click the try free button. And next you'll need to enter your email address, first and last name, and then click the download now button. And in a few seconds, you'll get a purchase confirmation, but don't worry, you didn't buy anything, it's still free. This is just an invoice for records purposes, but you can also download the plugin here by clicking this WP Travel Engine hyperlink. You'll also be receiving an email in the inbox that you signed up with from WP Travel Engine. It'll look something like this, just confirming your free purchase, but you can also download the plugin here as well by clicking this hyperlink within the email. But again, back at the invoice, you can download the plugin under the product section by clicking this hyperlink. And when you do, you'll need to select where you want that file to be downloaded. And then just like that, the plugin zip file will be saved to your computer. This is what we'll use to install and activate the WP Travel Engine plugin on a WordPress website. But before we do, let me show you how to set up your free WP Travel Engine account. Setting up a free WP Travel Engine account offers numerous benefits for anyone looking to create a travel booking website. It provides essential tools to manage travel packages, enabling you to deliver a seamless booking experience to customers without having to scour the internet for tools and resources. It's also vital for accessing your account and billing info if you plan to upgrade to a paid subscription. If you're serious about your travel booking site, I highly recommend creating a WP Travel Engine account. And here's how to do that. First, keep an eye out for an account info email from WP Travel Engine. It'll look something like this and will have your username, but you'll need to create a password. So within that email, click the set your password link and you'll be taken to a WordPress login page where you'll enter your new password. Now I've blurred mine out for obvious reasons, but go ahead and enter your new password in that field. And if you're wondering why you're at a WordPress login page, it's because the WP Travel Engine website is a WordPress website, and you're essentially creating a new WordPress user account within WP Travel Engine. Okay, once you've entered your new password, click the Get New Password button and in a few seconds, you should get another notification telling you to check your inbox again for the confirmation link and email. So let's head back to my inbox and the confirmation email will look something like this. And all you'll do is click that reset password link. And once again, you're taken back to a WordPress page where you'll confirm the new password. So go ahead and click the save password button. And you should get another notification letting you know that it was set and you're able to log into your account. So to do so, click the login link and then enter your new account login credentials and click the login button. And in a few moments, you should be redirected back to the WP Travel Engine homepage. Then if you click that login menu item within the primary nav at the top of the screen, you'll be able to access your new WP Travel Engine account. This is where you can manage and access your product licenses, download and purchase history, subscription info, and actions. And if you click on purchase history, you'll see the invoice for the free plugin. And then if you click the view details and download link, you can access the plugin here as well and download it if you need to. But either way, 
you now have a free WP Travel Engine account and can streamline a ton of features and access multiple resources to get the most out of this plugin. Okay, moving on next, let me show you how to install, activate, and configure the WP Travel Engine plugin on a WordPress website. But before we do, I wanna point out that for the remainder of this video, I'm gonna be using the paid version of the plugin. You could still get by with the free version, but I wanna show you some of the premium features that this plugin offers. And if you click on the pricing tab within the primary nav, you'll get a better idea of the plans offered, what they include, and how much they cost. And as you can see, they have four plans to meet any budget and project size, ranging from only $9 per month to $35 per month. And depending on your needs, the plan you choose may vary. However, for this tutorial, I'll be using the travel agency plan. It ran me $24 per month, which was billed annually, and it came out to about $280 for the entire year. But I get access to all the premium plugins and themes, as well as a ton of great features to boost my site's performance and user experience. It really is a great deal, and if you have the budget for it, I highly recommend investing in one of these paid annual plans. Okay, on that note, next, let me show you how to install, activate, and configure the WP Travel Engine plugin. All right, I'm assuming that you already have a WordPress website or blog up and running. If you don't, you'll need to do that before moving on. I have a handful of blogging tutorials that walk you through that process and I'll link to a few of them in the video description below. So if you need to set up your site, pause this video and watch one of those other tutorials first. And when I say set up a site, I mean get your web hosting and WordPress online. But then when you have WordPress and your hosting set up, come back here and follow these steps. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're going to install, activate, and configure the WP Travel Engine plugin. So the first step in this process is within your WordPress dashboard on the left sidebar, hover your mouse over plugins and click on add new plugin. From here, you have a few options as to how to proceed. And since we already downloaded the zip file needed from the WP Travel Engine website, we'll click the upload plugin button at the top of the screen and manually upload it from my computer. And next, click the Choose File button and find the zip file for the plugin. It'll look something like this. And then click the Install Now button and that will install the plugin. And I'll do that in just a sec, but if you haven't downloaded the plugin from the WP Travel Engine website, you can also download it here from WordPress's plugin repository. Within the search field in the upper right corner of the screen, just type WP Travel Engine and the plugin should be the first option that pops up. You could then click the install and activate button there and that will add the plugin to your site. But I manually uploaded the plugin already, so let's install it. Again, you'll need to click the install now button. And in a few seconds, you should get a notification that it was successfully installed. And then to activate it, click the activate now button. Next, you'll be taken to the plugin configuration and onboarding steps. And I love this because it streamlines the setup process in five easy steps. So to get started, simply click the Let's Get Started button. And the first step is to configure the currency options for your travel website. First is the trips base currency. This is where you select the base currency for your trips and is what all the prices will default to. In this example, it's set to United States, uh, the US dollar, but you could choose any currency from that drop-down menu that fits your target market. And selecting the current base currency is essential as this will be the main currency displayed to your customers. Next is the currency symbol or code, and here you could decide how the currency symbol or code will appear in your trip listings. For example, you can display it as a dollar sign for the US dollar or choose another symbol or code depending on your base currency. This setting ensures that customers clearly see what currency they're being charged in, adding clarity and professionalism to your listings. Next is the thousands separator. And in this field, you can customize the symbol used to separate thousands in your prices. For example, in the US, we often use a comma. So that's what I'm gonna use here, but other regions may use a period instead. And setting this correctly helps with readability and aligns with regional norms for displaying numbers, making the prices easier to understand for your audience. Okay, that's gonna do it for the currency settings. So go ahead and click the continue button to move on to step number two, which is the email settings. 
In this part of the WP Travel Engine setup, we're configuring the email settings to manage notifications for both sales and customer inquiries. So let's go through each section step by step. So first is the disable admin notification. This toggle allows you to control whether you, as the admin, receives sales notification emails. If it's turned on, which is switched to the right, you won't receive notifications for each sale. This can be useful if you'd like to reduce email clutter or if you're using an alternate notification system to track your sales. If it's off, you'll receive an email every time a sales occur. Next is sales notification emails. And in this field, you can specify the email addresses that should receive notifications for each sale. You can enter multiple email addresses, separating them by commas without spaces. And this is helpful if you have a team or want specific departments like sales or customer support to be notified of new bookings. Just enter the desired emails in that text box provided. Next, we have the ability to enable inquiry email. And when this toggle is enabled, the system will send inquiry notification emails to customers. This feature is helpful if you want customers to receive automatic confirmation or acknowledgement when they submit an inquiry. Leaving this on improves communication with customers, making sure they know that their inquiry has been received. Next is the from email, and this is the email address that customers will see as the sender when they receive purchase receipts or inquiry responses from your site. It also acts as the reply to address if they want to contact you directly. And setting this field with a recognizable email address such as support at your website.com is good practice as it helps maintain a professional and trustworthy appearance. And by setting up these email configurations, you can ensure that both you and your customers stay informed throughout the booking and inquiry process, streamlines communication and enhances the overall customer experience on your travel website. Okay, moving on, go ahead and click the continue button to move to step number three. In this section of the plugin setup, we're configuring the page settings to assign specific pages for various functions in your travel booking website. You can always add additional pages to your site later on, but this is a good start to help lay the foundation for a successful travel site. So first is the checkout page, and this is where customers will complete their orders and finalize the booking process. You'll need to assign a page, typically named Checkout, for this purpose. And if you click the drop-down menu, you'll see all the pages that you could choose from. Again, I recommend using the default Checkout page. You could always edit it in WordPress. Additionally, you'll see some short codes here underneath each page. WP Engine recommends that you make sure to add the short codes to the Checkout page as it enables the Checkout functionality and allows customers to place their orders. However, the theme I'll be using in this tutorial automatically adds the short code to the desired pages, but it's a good reminder if you're building things from scratch or need to make additional pages. Same thing goes for the remaining pages on the list. You can always edit them or even remove them within WordPress a little later on. So I'm just keeping all these pages as is within these settings, but feel free to adjust them as you see fit. And configuring these page settings ensures that your travel booking website provides a seamless, organized experience for users, guiding them through the booking process and allowing them to manage their account and save trips effectively. Okay, let's continue to step number four, the payment gateway setting. This is where you can configure payment options for customers to book trips on your website. First, there's a book now, pay later option. And when activated, customers can book their trips without making any immediate payment, allowing them to pay at a later time. This feature can be beneficial for customers who wanna secure a booking, but may need flexibility in payment timing. Simply turn on the toggle to activate this option. Below that is the PayPal option. This enables the PayPal standard booking system for processing payments on your site. PayPal is one of the most widely used payment gateways known for its security and ease of use. And by enabling this, you're allowing customers to pay using their PayPal accounts or credit cards through PayPal's platform. And to set this up, you'll need to fill in your PayPal merchant ID or the email address associated with your PayPal account. Now, if you don't use PayPal, there are some payment gateway recommendations below the main settings. WP Travel Engine provides recommendations for additional payment gateways that you might consider. These options can include Stripe, Authorized Debt, and other popular gateways, giving you flexibility to integrate the most suitable payment processes for your business. And you could also click this button to view more payment gateways available if needed. And configuring these payment gateway settings allow you to offer secure and flexible payment options, making it convenient for your customers to book trips with you. And by enabling Book Now, Pay Later or integrating PayPal, 
you're ensuring a seamless payment experience that can increase customer satisfaction and boost conversion rates on your site. Okay, that's gonna do it for the onboarding steps. So go ahead and click the continue button and you'll get this congrats message that your site is ready. And technically it is, but we still need to do a few more things before it's completely done and ready for business. But first, let's head back to the dashboard by clicking this link. And then you may get this notification asking you to opt in to email updates from WP Travel Engine. So go ahead and select if you want that or not. And then you'll see your WP Travel Engine dashboard within your WordPress dashboard. This is like home base for your account within your WordPress site. As you can see in your sidebar menu, you now have additional menu items where you can access features and settings to help you along. And then on the right, you have access to some great tutorials, themes, upgrade, FAQs, systems info, what's new notifications, and much more. And I highly recommend getting familiar with this dashboard and the tutorials whenever you have some extra time. But next, let me quickly show you how to activate a pro paid WP Travel Engine plan. If you recall, I purchased the annual agency plan instead of using just the free version of this plugin. So if you opted to upgrade as well, let me show you how to activate your license and connect your WP Travel Engine account to your WordPress website. In this portion of the tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to access, activate, and connect a WordPress site to a paid WP Travel Agent account. And if you paid for a premium plan, you'll need to connect your WordPress site to your license key in order to access all of the premium features within the plugin. And before we do, I realize that there's a plugin license option in your sidebar menu, but that is only for add-on plugins, which we'll do a little later on. But in order to activate your WP Travel Engine plugin license and connect your WordPress website to it, you'll need to go back to the WP Travel Engine homepage. And from here, access your account by clicking Login in the navigation menu. And then make sure you're at the license key history section of your account. Anytime you make a purchase that requires a license, it'll be added here. And to access it next to the license you want to access, click where it says Manage Sites. And for this particular example, I'm authorizing my WordPress website to work with my WP Travel Engine agency plan. And if you upgraded to a paid plan and you wanna access all the features whenever you use the WP Travel Engine plugin to your site, you'll need to enter your site's URL here in this field like so. Now I'm using a local site on my computer so the URL looks kinda of weird, but yours will more than likely be something like yourdomain.com. But whenever you enter it and you're ready, click the Add Site button. And in a few seconds, you'll see that the status of the license is now listed as active, and you can now access all the benefits on your premium WP Travel Engine plan while building your WordPress site. And on that note, let's move on and install and activate a WordPress travel theme. In this portion of the tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the process of installing and activating a travel theme to use with the WP Travel Engine plugin. You're free to use any theme that you see fit, but WP Travel Engine actually has a repository of recommended themes that work very well with the plugin and make your life much easier when building a travel booking or travel agency website. But due to this, the steps to get the theme up and running are a bit more involved, and there are additional plugins that we'll be installing and activating in order for everything to work properly, and I'll walk you through that process step by step. So from your WP Travel Engine dashboard, if you click on themes in that little navigation menu, you'll gain access to all of the best recommended themes to use with the WP Travel Engine plugin. Again, if you recall in this video, I'm using the travel agency paid plan. So that gave me access to three pro themes. And you could tell which themes are the pro themes by the pro marking in the corner of each theme preview. And a pro theme just means you have to pay for it. However, there are free themes that you could use here as well, and they're still great, but a pro theme is gonna give you a lot more creative control and more features when it comes to building a professional travel site. So for this example, I'll be using the Travel Booking Pro theme. And whenever you've chosen a theme to use, hover your mouse over it and click on the View Themes button. And this will take you to the WP Travel Engine's theme download page. Here you can get a better idea of what the theme can do as well as view a demo of the theme to see how it functions and behaves. 
And this gives you a much better idea as what the theme will look like after you install and activate it on your site. Plus, these themes come with ready-made sites filled with demo content where you can just install the pre-made site and then switch out all the content with your own content. And that's what we'll be doing in this video. It saves you a ton of time and allows you to launch your website a lot faster. Okay, so whenever you're ready to use the theme, click the download button. And then save the theme zip file to your computer. And then next, head back to WordPress. And within the sidebar menu on the left-hand side of the screen, hover your mouse over Appearance and click on Themes. And we're adding a new theme, so click the Add New Theme icon. And then we're uploading the zip file of that theme that we just downloaded, so click the Upload Theme button towards the top of the screen. And it's pretty much the same steps as when we uploaded the plugins. Click the Choose File button. And find the theme zip file. Then click the Install Now button. And in a few seconds, you should get a success notification letting you know it was installed. But next, you'll want to activate it. So click the Activate link. And the theme is now active. You can tell because we have this brand new dashboard and menu items for the Travel Booking Pro theme. And this is home base for your theme where you can get a ton of help and info in terms of building your site with this theme. And we'll cover all that in just a sec. But first, there are a few notifications here that you'll need to take care of. First, they recommend that you install and activate a few plugins. These help with the overall functionality of the theme. So I also recommend installing and activating them. And to do that, click the Begin Installing Plugins link. And from here, you can install them all at once. Simply check that first box to select all of the plugins. Then click the Bulk Action dropdown and select Install. And then click the Apply button. Then in a few seconds, you'll get a notification that they have all been successfully installed. We'll activate them in just a sec. But next, we need to activate the license key in order to use them. Now, the steps here may vary depending on how you purchase the pro version of the travel booking theme. In this example, the pro version of the theme came with my travel agency subscription plan of the WP Travel Engine plugin. So all I need to do is use my account license key. However, if you just purchase the theme on its own, you'll more than likely need to access a theme license key. But either way, here is how you can access it and activate it. So towards the top of the screen, there will be a theme activation notification. Click that button, and that will take you to the license section of the theme dashboard within WordPress. And this is where you'll enter the license key to activate and use the theme. So to do so, you'll need to head over to your WP Travel Engine account, and you can get there by clicking this link. And again, since my travel agency plan came with this theme, I'll need to access my account license key. If you're just using the theme, you'll more than likely see the theme license key listed here. But again, since I'm using my account license key, I'll click Manage Site next to that key I want to use. And this time, I'll need to actually highlight and copy the key. I'm blurring it out for security purposes, but it'll be listed here. And I'm on a Mac, so I'm pressing Command-C on my keyboard to copy it. Then back at the license section of the theme within WordPress, paste the key in that field like so. Again, I'm on a Mac, so I'm pressing Command-V to paste it. Then click the Activate License button. And in a few seconds, you should get a notification letting you know that the license key has successfully been applied and activated. We can now use all of the Pro features of the WP Travel Engine and the Travel Booking Pro theme. But we're still not done. Remember, the recommended plugins that we installed, we still need to activate them. So there should be another notification at the top of the screen. This time, click the Begin Activating Plugins link. And the steps are the same as when we installed them. Check the box there at the top to select all of the plugins. Then from the Bulk Action dropdown, select Activate. And then click the Apply button. And in a few moments, you should get another notification letting you know that the plugins have been successfully activated. They will now be in use with this theme. But we're still not done. There are still a few more recommended plugins that we need to install and activate. And if we head back to our Travel Booking Pro dashboard, you'll see yet another notification at the top of the screen recommending a few more plugins. These are different because these are premium add-on plugins from WP Travel Engine. These are separate from the WordPress 
plugin repository because these are specific to WP Travel Engine and will be accessed via your account. And if you want the full functionality of the theme when you launch, I recommend installing and activating these add-ons. So from that alert, click the links for each plugin add-on, starting with the group discount. And this will take you back to WP Travel Engine's website where you can get more information about the add-ons here and see what they do exactly. And feel free to read up on each plugin, but for the sake of time, I'm going to download them. So click that button. And there we go. Then the steps are the exact same for the remaining two add-ons, which are trip reviews. And this lets you add customer reviews to your site. So let's definitely download this. And then finally, let's get the trip fixed starting dates add-on. And then we'll download this one as well. Perfect. Okay, back at WordPress, the next step is to install and activate these three add-ons, which are actually plugins. So this time we'll need to go to our plugin management page by hovering your mouse over plugins and clicking on add new plugins. Then from here, click the upload plugin button towards the top of the screen and find the first plugin that you wanna upload, which will be the group discount plugin. Then click the Install Now button. And just like before, once installed, you'll need to activate it by clicking the Activate Plugin button. And once activated, you'll see it listed as activated in your plugin management page, as well as a success notification at the top of the screen. Okay, then for the sake of time, I'm gonna speed through me installing and activating the other two add-on plugins. But once they're both activated, they'll also be listed here in your plugin management page. Now, there is one final step to ensure that these plugins work, and that is to activate them with their license key. If you recall, these add-ons are premium plugins through the WP Travel Engine, so in order to use them, we'll need to add my account license key. So from your WordPress dashboard sidebar menu on the left-hand side of the screen, hover your mouse over WP Travel Engine and click on Plugin License. And you'll see that the three premium add-ons that we just installed and activated have been added here. And all we need to do now is add the license keys to activate them so that we could use them on this site. So once again, head back to WP Travel Engine and click on Login to access your account. And within the license key section, find the one that you want to use and click Manage Sites. And just like before, highlight that license key and copy it. Then back at the plugin license section in WordPress, paste that license key in the fields provided next to each premium add-on. Then click the Save Changes button. And in a few moments, you'll get a notification letting you know that the license key is now activated for each one of these add-ons. This means that we can now use these premium add-ons on our WordPress theme and site. And that's gonna do it for the theme and plugin installation. Now, I know that it may seem like a lot, and it kinda of was, but now that you have the theme installed, you can access the theme dashboard in the sidebar menu by clicking on Travel Booking Pro. And here you can access a ton of great info, tutorials, help docs, etc., to help you along with building your site. This YouTube video is actually a very good tutorial on how to use the theme and build your site. We're gonna cover a lot of what they teach in this video, but I highly recommend using their tutorial as a reference as you're building your site with the Travel Booking Pro theme. Additionally, they have a great knowledge base and support ticketing system that you can access here as well. And then if you look towards the top of the screen and hover your mouse over where it says WP Travel Engine, you'll get a drop-down menu where you can access additional tutorials and contact the plugin's support. Just another great resource to help you along with building your site. Okay, next, let me show you how to install the starter site with the one-click demo site installer. This way, you don't have to spend hours building and designing your website. This allows you to essentially start with a fully built site. All you have to do is add and edit your content.
In this portion of the tutorial, we're going to install the Travel Booking Pro starter site. As I mentioned in the previous section of this video, this is going to save you a ton of time and essentially lets you install a completely built and ready-made demo site, which lays the foundation for the rest of your site. And all you have to do is swap out the content. And let me show you how it's done. So from the Travel Booking Pro dashboard within your WordPress dashboard, you should see a menu item titled Starter Sites. Go ahead and click on that and this will bring you to the installer. Now, one thing to keep in mind, when installing the starter site, it will completely erase and overwrite your current site. So if you have an established site already and you're switching themes, I don't recommend using the starter site feature unless you back up your site. However, I'm starting from scratch and I wanna build out this demo site. So to do so, first things first, click the install starter sites button and it gets to work. Usually it doesn't take longer than a few seconds. Next, you'll be prompted to activate the starter site. So click that button again, and it does its thing, but this time, again, should only take a few seconds. Then the next step is to import the starter site. So click that button one more time, and in a few moments, you'll see that we now have two types of starter sites that we can use by default. It starts you at the Rara demo import. And this was very confusing to me when I first started because I thought that this was the demo site. However, I'm not using the Rara theme or products. So if you have the Travel Booking Pro theme like I do, you won't use this demo site. What you wanna do is within your sidebar menu on the left-hand side of the screen, under the appearance menu item, click on where it says import demo data and this is where you can access the Travel Booking Pro demo sites. Again, the Rara demo was confusing to me and I'm not sure why it's done like that, but again, this is the demo site that we want since we're using the Travel Booking Pro theme. Okay, so from here you have two options. If you scroll down a bit, you can install the default layout or the one page layout. Both are great options, but it really comes down to your personal preference. For this tutorial, I'm gonna go with the default layout. So. Whenever you make your decision, hover your mouse over the one you want to use and click the import demo button. Next, before the demo is imported, there are yet again some more recommended plugins. These are optional, but if you decide to install them, just select the ones that you want to use like so, and then click the continue and import button. Now keep in mind that this process will take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to complete. So just make sure that your computer doesn't shut off or go to sleep during the demo import. And for the sake of time, I'm gonna fast forward through the 10 minute import. You can go ahead and pause this video if you want or come back to it in 10 or 15 minutes. But whenever it's done, you'll get a success notification letting you know that the import was complete and you can now begin editing your site. And if you click that visit site button, you'll be able to see the power of this starter site demo import. As you can see, we now have a fully built site with a proper homepage structure, call to actions, trip and destination content, footer, etc. This demo site is also fully customizable, meaning you can really make it your own and update the content as you see fit. And speaking of that, let's start editing this site. So back at WordPress, if you click on the Travel Booking Pro menu item in the sidebar, I just wanna reiterate the importance of the resources that you have here. This video tutorial is super helpful as you're building your site. We're gonna cover some things in this tutorial, but this video goes into greater detail and covers more in-depth content topics. So I highly recommend checking it out as you're building your site with this theme. Also the knowledge base and support can be accessed here and are great tools to help you build your site as well. And then if you scroll down, they have a customization quick start guide that walks you through some of the most important aspects when customizing your site. Simply click on any of these icons and go through them one by one to edit these sections of your site. And we're gonna cover most of them in this video, but this quick start guide is really helpful if you're brand new to the theme and even WordPress. And on that note, let's move on and start editing and customizing our website. In this portion of the tutorial, I'm gonna go over how to customize the Travel Booking Pro WordPress theme. But before we do, I should clarify something. This theme is extremely flexible and customizable, meaning there are a ton of options when it comes to design, content, settings, etc. So what I'm gonna do in this video is cover some basic customizations and show you how to make edits that can help get you started. 
Unfortunately, there is no way that I can cover every aspect of this theme and the plugin in this tutorial without making the video 10 hours long. That's why I highly recommend you watch this video on the Travel Booking Pro theme. There's a ton of great info here if you ever get stuck or need some clarification on how a feature works. So with that being said, let's customize this theme and build our website. And the way I like to go about it is to use the customization menu within WordPress. You can get there by clicking the go to customizer link. And if you scroll down, it'll be located there next to the quick start guide. And this will take you to your WordPress customization menu. All of the sections of the quick start guide are located here. And this is how you'll make most of your design edits within the theme. Each tab represents a section or feature within the theme and opening them gives you the ability to make some pretty cool edits and customizations, as you'll see in a few minutes. I also want to point out that you can always get to this customization menu by clicking the customize menu item in the toolbar at the top of your screen. This is just another way to get to the customization menu and make your edits. Now, one of the most confusing parts of WordPress, at least it was for me, is trying to figure out what all of these tabs do within the customization menu. Well, thankfully, WordPress made a feature to help out with that. If you look on the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see these little circle pencil icons. These are little shortcuts to edit a particular piece of content that they're next to. So instead of searching through the customization menu tabs on the left, you can just click on one of these icons and it will open the exact section of the customization menu needed to edit that particular piece of content. This is a huge time saver and also helps you learn where things are located within the customization menu. And let me show you what I mean. So let's say I wanna edit this homepage slider. Simply click that pencil icon within the slider and this opens the banner options within the customization menu. And here you can enable and disable the slider, change the slider content style, add or remove sliders, change the button call to action, and also change the content within each slider. As you can see, clicking the slider tab here opens each one of the sliders where you could change the image, title text, and link of the button, giving you a ton of creative control over one of the first things your visitors see whenever they land on your homepage. And if you make any changes here, don't forget to click the publish button towards the top of the menu. Okay, let's check out another one of the content sections of the homepage. Let's try this heading. And clicking the pencil icon opens the about section of the customization menu where you can edit the title and subtext, again, giving you the ability to quickly edit your homepage in real time. No more coding or needing to know HTML or CSS or whatever. You can click the pencil icon and make your content edits here in a few seconds. I love it. Same thing goes for these icons. Clicking the pencil icon next to each image gives you the ability to change out those images as well as the title, text, and you can even add a link to them if you want. All right, scrolling down to the next section of the homepage, it looks like they have a popular packages section with different trips listed within them. Now, depending on your type of travel agency or your travel website, you'll need to edit these trips, which I'll show you how to do a little later on in the tutorial. But to edit this popular packages homepage section, you can click on any of the pencil icons within the trips listed there. And this will open the popular packages customization options where you can then change the trips listed within each package. And you could also change the button CTA text. Now, I don't wanna confuse you too much here, but you can't edit the trips within the customization menu. I like to think of the trips as like blog posts. They're their own types of content. And whenever we installed the demo content, it came with all of these pre-made trips. But once you create a trip, you can add it to this list. Again, I don't wanna get ahead of myself, but I just wanna point out that if you're looking at this section of the homepage and you're like, how do I edit or make my own trips? We'll do that in just a bit. Okay, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna go through each section of the homepage, but anywhere you see a circle pencil icon, you can click on it and that will open the section of the customization menu that is needed to edit it. Super convenient and easy to learn once you get the hang of it. Now, one thing that I do wanna point out is that there are actually two sections here that don't have a pencil icon next to them. They look like this and are called call to action sections. Now, I'm not sure why they don't have the pencil icons next to them, but if you do need to edit them, which I'm sure you do, this is how you'll do that. So within your customization menu in the upper left corner, there is this little arrow icon. Click it two times and that will take you back to the first section of the customization menu. Then from here, click the front page settings tab. 
then find the call to action tabs. There will be two of them and depending on which call to action section you're editing, you'll open either the call to action one or call to action two tab. The one I'm editing is the second call to action section so I'll select the call to action two tab. Then from here is where you can make your edits to this particular section. Just open it here in the customization menu. And again, I'm not sure why they don't have the pencil icon, but that's a different discussion. Either way, this is where you could change the title, text, call to action button, image, and link, giving you creative freedom over the design of your homepage. Okay, the next customization that I wanna go over is the site identity. So this time within the customization menu, find the site identity tab and open it. And from here, this is where you can edit the site title and tagline, as well as the logo, which shows up in the header of your website. Now, you'll wanna upload an actual image for your logo, but this is a very important aspect of your site and brand, so I highly recommend updating the site identity as you're making your edits. Okay, another important customization to your site that doesn't have a pencil icon next to it is the color scheme. This changes the colors that are used throughout your site, like the color of the buttons and hyperlinks. So this time within the customization menu, find the Appearance Settings tab, and then open the Color Scheme tab. And from here, you can edit the background color and primary color. And to do that, simply click on the color swatch next to the color that you wanna change. And this will open a little color picker tool where you can set the primary color used throughout your site. This is extremely important for branding purposes as it gives you the ability to adhere to your brand guidelines while also making your site cohesive with your overall brand. As you can see, the color picker tool lets you quickly change the primary color used throughout the theme. You can even enter a hex color code if you have a specific color in mind that you wanna use. And then you could also reset the color by clicking the default button. And this sets it back to that default bluish color. Another important design aspect that doesn't have a pencil icon to change it is the site header. So this time within your customization menu, find the layout settings tab. And then open the header layout tab. And this gives you the ability to make some pretty drastic changes to the design of your website. As you can see, you have a few options here and clicking on each header layout allows you to change the entire look and feel of your header. Again, no coding or technical know-how needed. Just select the header you wanna use and you can make a major change to your site with a click of your mouse. I love this feature. Another cool site-wide edit you can make here is through the typography setting. And this tab allows you to edit the type of font being used in the body and within each heading. As you can see here in the body text edits, you could change the font style, the size, and color. Once again, giving you a ton of creative control over the look and feel of not just your site, but the content being consumed by your audience. Okay, that's gonna do it for the homepage settings. Remember, you can make the most out of your edits here via the front page settings tab within your customization menu. All right, moving on. Next, let's go over how to add a navigation menu to your website. In this portion of the tutorial, we're gonna create and add a navigation menu to this website. And if we fast forward to the end of the video, you could see what I'm talking about. Having a primary navigation menu allows you to diversify your content and it helps your visitors navigate your site. This not only creates a better user experience, but it's good for SEO. And you have a few ways to accomplish this. You can either click the menus tab in the customization menu, or this theme actually has a click here to add menu link in the upper right corner. Both of these will take you to your menu settings and will allow you to build out your primary navigation menu for this website. And you yet again have a few options as to how to proceed. You can create a brand new menu from scratch by clicking the add new button, or you could use one of the pre-made menus and edit it to your liking. And that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll select the quick links menu and this will bring you to the menu builder where you could see that the menu has pre-made menu items ready to go. You can edit them or add to them if needed. Like the sample page, I don't want it to show up on my menu, so I'll open it here within the builder and then click the remove link. And just like that, it's gone. Then you could also add menu items as well. So let's say I wanna add a contact menu item to link to my contact page. So I'll click the add items button and then within the pages section, scroll down until you find the contact page. 
and select it. And just like that, we have a new menu item. Then you can also reorder these menu items if you'd like by clicking the reorder link. And this will give you the ability to rearrange these menu items in a different order. But for the sake of time, I'm just gonna leave them as is. Next, you'll need to assign this menu to a location. This basically tells the menu where to display and I want it to show up on the top of my site. So we'll select the primary location by checking that box. And then that's it. This menu is ready to go and it looks great as you can see on the right hand side of the screen in the preview. Okay, so whenever you're done building your menu, don't forget to click the publish button to make these changes live. And this new menu is now online and will be accessible on the front end of my website. Okay, moving on. Next, let's go over how to edit trips, activities, and destinations. In this portion of the tutorial, we're going to go over how to edit and create trips, activities, and destinations. They are conveniently located in our Quick Links primary navigation menu, and you can begin editing them by clicking on each menu item here if you'd like. And I'm gonna cover the basics in this tutorial, but it even took me a few tries to really understand the logic and structure behind the trips, destinations, and activities. So whenever you have some extra time, I highly recommend checking out WP Travel Engine's knowledge base and video tutorials to help you get a solid understanding on how to edit these. And I've linked to the knowledge base in the video description below, just FYI. And with that being said, let's edit the trips first. So if we open the trips listing menu item in our navigation menu, you'll be taken to the trips listing page where all of your published trips will display. And I like to think of trips as like blog posts and this trips listing page like a blog feed because they behave very similarly. And one thing I wanna point out is that this particular trip listing page is a set template, so you can't edit the layout of this trip listing page. At least I haven't discovered a way to do that. But you can edit the trips within the listing page. And one way to do that is to edit the trips one by one. So if you open a trip by clicking the View Details button, you'll see that the trip layout is much like a blog post. We have our content on the left and then a sidebar on the right. And the sidebar is a global element, meaning that it will display the same throughout all of your trips. but you could still edit the widgets within the sidebar just like we did with our home page by clicking the pencil icons. But for the sake of time, I'm not gonna be editing the sidebar. But if we shift our focus to the trip content, you'll see that it consists of some imagery, and then we have some text content, and then if you scroll down, there is an inquiry form and some related trips. And we can edit this right here if we close the customization menu. But let me show you another way to access all of the trips in one place to make your edits. So if you close the customization menu, it will shut down the page that you're working on and take you back to the home page. So what I recommend doing is in the toolbar at the top of the screen, hover your mouse over where it says WP Travel Engine, and then from that drop down, select All Trips. And this will take you to your trip management page within your WordPress dashboard. These are all of the trips that were automatically added during the demo import, and you'll more than likely want to delete them, or you can keep them and just edit them within the WordPress visual editor. But the way I like to do it is if you hover your mouse over a trip and click edit, this will take you to the WordPress editor where you can begin making your changes. Now you'll notice that inside the visual editor, the trip looks a lot different than the front end of the trip that we were just looking at because all we have here is a title, some short code, and then some text. And that's because the short code here is doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Instead of having to type out all of the sections one by one, if you scroll down, you'll see the trip editor where you can begin customizing the specifics of your trip. And then this will produce the short code that you could use above to display within the content on the front end of your site. And if you're confused, I get it, no worries. You'll get the hang of it once you start using it and seeing how it works. And let me show you what I mean. So if you select the date and price tab, this opens some additional settings where if you then select edit pricing and dates, you can set the specific pricing for your packages. And by default, they have adult and children packages, but you can edit and change them by clicking this link. Then to set the prices, click the package you wanna edit. And in those fields, set your price. 
Then you can also add and configure the overview by clicking the overview tab, as well as the itinerary for the trip and much more. You can go on and on down the list. But for the sake of time, once you've made all of your edits to the trip, you can open the short codes tab. This will give you all of the short codes that you could use on your site, and it even tells you where to place them. And for this trip, since it's an actual trip page, we'll want to use this short code. And all you'll do is click that little icon to copy it. Then once copied, paste the short code within the editor like you're just pasting some text. And this will display that little trip widget on the front end of the page, which I'll show you in just a bit. Also, if you do make any changes, don't forget to click the Save button in the upper right corner of the screen. Then when we visit the page and scroll down a bit, you'll see that this little widget is what the short code is displaying. And if we go to the Dates tab and select a date to book, you'll go through the booking process and select a date. And then we have our package there that's $500. So select your number of travelers and proceed to checkout. And the consumer is taken to the pre-made checkout page where they can pay with my payment gateway, which is PayPal that I set up during the first onboarding section of this video. Pretty cool. Now, if you're new to all this, I know it may take a while to get used to and learn, but trust me, once you get the hang of it, this will save you a ton of time when you're building out your trips. Okay, next let's go over the activities. So if we select the activities menu item, you'll be taken to the activities page where all the activities will be listed. And if you click on one of them, the specific activities page will have some text, but will also have some trips assigned to each activities. And activities are different types of content because they act as almost categories that the trips can be assigned to. Also, if you want to edit an activity, you'll do so by clicking the edit activities menu item in the toolbar at the top of the screen. And this is where you can edit the name, slug, description, and image associated with the activity. Like I said, this is almost like a category that once you create, if you want a trip to be included within the activity page, you'll need to assign that trip to this activity within the trip page editor. And as you can see here in this trip, if I wanna assign it to an activity, simply open the activity menu item in the settings and check the boxes of the activities that you wanna associate with this trip. This will then tell WordPress to include this trip within the activities page that we were just at. The same thing goes for destinations. They use the exact same setup and logic as the activities. So once you create them, you can assign trips to destinations as well, right here in the trip editor. And if we visit the destinations menu item in the primary nav, you'll see the template is the same as the activities. And then when you select a destination, you'll be taken to the destinations page where you'll also see the trips that are associated with that destination as well. And again, to edit the destination, it's the same as the activities. Click the edit destination in the toolbar at the top of the screen, and this is where you'll make your edits. You can also make brand new activities and destinations here within your WordPress dashboard. Just click the activities menu item in the sidebar. And this is where you'll input the specifics of the activity to create it. And then they'll all be listed here where you can manage them as well. And as I said, the same thing goes for the destinations. Just click the sidebar menu item and add your new destination. Okay, moving on. Next, let me show you how to create a blog post. In this portion of the tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to publish a blog post on your travel booking website. Blogging is crucial for travel booking because it helps attract and engage potential customers by providing valuable content that addresses their interests and needs. And through blog posts, a travel website can showcase popular destinations, travel tips, itineraries, and experiences that inspire readers to explore and book trips. Blogging also boosts search engine visibility as search engines prioritize fresh, informative content, helping the website rank higher in the search results and reach a wider audience. So on that note, let me quickly show you how to blog. Okay, first things first, the demo import automatically created a blog for you that you can access here in the quick links navigation menu. And when you click on the blog menu item, it takes you to your blog feed, where again, as you can see, the demo import created some blog posts for you. Now, these are obviously placeholder posts as you more than likely don't want these live on your site. 
but there's still a good visual on how blog posts look and how the blog feed operates. And one way to remove these posts is if you click edit, you'll be taken to the editor and then within the post settings on the right hand side of the screen, find the status section. It'll be marked as published, but if you click on it, you can change the status to draft and then click the save button in the upper right corner and this will unpublish the post and remove it from the blog feed. You can then delete the post in your post management page within your WordPress dashboard, but this is a quick way to take these posts down so that your audience doesn't see them and get confused whenever you launch your site. Another way to go about getting rid of these posts is within the post management section of your WordPress dashboard. So if we head back to the dashboard by clicking the WordPress logo in the upper left corner of the screen, and then within the sidebar, hover your mouse over posts and click on all posts. And this will take you to your post management page where as you can see, all of the demo posts will be listed. Then to unpublish them, just hover your mouse over a post and select quick edit. And then in the status section, click the drop down and select draft. Again, don't forget to update your changes to make this official and to unpublish the post. And then as you can see, the post is now in draft status. You can then delete it here as well, which I recommend doing, but for the sake of time, let's move on and create a blog post. So to create a brand new post, you have a few ways to go about it. First, within the post management page, you can click the add new post button, or if you aren't in this section of your dashboard, you can hover your mouse over new at the top of the toolbar and select post. Both of these options will take you to your WordPress blog editor where you can begin creating blog content. And it's pretty straightforward. From here, you'll give it a title. And then below that is where you'll start typing and adding your content. Now I could do a whole other tutorial on creating a blog post, but the new WordPress editor gives you a ton of freedom in terms of how you create content. You could type like I just did, or you can also add blocks of content by clicking this little plus icon and this will open a pop-up menu where you can select different blocks to use. This is where the building blocks of your content is housed and it's what you'll use to add various blocks to your blog posts and pages. And by default, it will display six blocks within this menu. You could always search for specific blocks by using the search bar there or by clicking on the browse all button. And when you do that, you'll see that you have a wealth of resources when it comes to the different types of blocks and patterns you could use to create content. Now, when you have some extra time, I recommend browsing and exploring the different types of blocks and patterns. Also, and this is specific to the WP Travel Engine plugin, if you click this Pattern Engine button at the top of the screen, you'll be presented with different pre-made layouts that you can pick and choose from to add to your post or page. Again, I probably wouldn't use these for a blog post, but they still open the door to a ton of creativity and save you some time when it comes to designing and actually building a website and adding content. So, just thought I'd point that out. Then finally, before you publish, I always recommend reviewing the post settings, which can be accessed here by clicking this tab. And this is where you'll add the post featured image, which is the thumbnail that will show up on social media when the post is shared, as well as on your blog feed. And then the post settings is also where you could set the publish status or schedule to publish at a future date, as well as assign categories and tags to the post if you need to. And then once you're done with the content and settings, don't forget to publish it by clicking the publish button in the upper right corner. And this will make the post live and accessible on your blog feed. Okay, moving on to the final section of content that we're gonna cover in this video, and that is the contact page. In this portion of the tutorial, I'm gonna quickly show you how to access, edit, and create a contact form on your travel site. And you have a lot of ways to accomplish this, but for this tutorial, we're gonna use the Contact 7 plugin that was recommended during the theme installation. And if we visit the contact page that was created for us during the demo import, you'll see that we have this beautiful contact form, but we also have some text content on it, as well as a map and some social icons. Again, there's a lot of specific content here that if you don't wanna use it, you don't have to, but let me show you how to edit it if you want. So first, this particular contact page uses a contact template. And to edit things like the map and the social icons, you'll need to access the customization menu. So go ahead and click customize at the top of the screen. And then select contact template settings. 
And this is where we can edit the Google map as well as the contact information associated with the map and business. And then if you scroll down, this is where you can edit the social icons that display below the map. That's the contact template. Then if you wanna edit the contact page, that is actually content within the contact template. You'll wanna first close out the customization menu and then select edit page in the toolbar at the top of the screen. And from here you can edit the content and form within the contact page template. And if you've made it this far in the video, you'll probably notice that the form is handled by shortcode. However, the way to edit and access the shortcode is via the contact form seven WordPress plugin. So if you aren't using that plugin, these steps will be different, but if you wanna edit this form or even add a new form, this is how you'll do that. So first let's head back to our WordPress dashboard. Then within the sidebar, hover your mouse over a contact and click on contact forms. And this will take you to the contact form seven plugin manager. And this is where you can create a brand new form or edit one of the pre-made forms, which is what we're gonna do. So to edit a form, hover your mouse over it within the list and click on edit. And this will bring you to the form builder. Now I know it looks like a lot, but it's really simple once you know how the code and form template works. And I highly recommend clicking this editing form template link. The plugin has some great walkthroughs that show you how the form template works and how to make edits. And again, we're not gonna go through the edits in this video, but if you wanna remove fields or whatnot, you would edit this code. But once you are done making your edits, you'll copy the short code and paste it wherever you want it to display here within the contact page. Again, I know I kind of flew through that process, but feel free to reach out in the comments or review any of the WP Travel Engine video tutorials or knowledge base articles to help you get your forms up and running. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking to start a blog, check out these two videos on how to build, grow, and monetize a WordPress blog. They'll walk you through the entire process step by step. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.